Hello guys, welcome back. Another video on my Poco X3 NFC. I'm going to play Wii game Super Mario Odyssey Part 1 or Part 2. And going to install the Dolphin emulator. I'm going to use two versions. One is uh, custom build and, and another one the beta version, the development version from the from the official website, the Dolphin website. All the game are stored in my external SD card. This is the three SD card that I normally use. All are 128 GB. I don't have to copy the game that I want to play. Just swap the SD card. Now I'm going to install the custom build MMJ version 5010648 and another one the current beta version, the latest one, and the current one, uh, 5.013710. This is the latest beta version. And one thing, the weakness on the all the MMJ version on Android 11 it can read the external SD card that's the problem on Android 10 no problem this is the MMJ version I'm going to add in my game from the external storage this is it. Nope, it's not containing any Wii game, so have to swap the SD card. This is not the proper way to to swap the SD card. The proper way are unmount your SD card from the setting. And then remount it back. Where is my sim ejector? Probably this is a long video. Be patient. This one containing the switch gap. I'm not sure about this one. I hope the Wii game are inside. Trick the SD card. Okay. Game. Wii. New Super Mario, New Super Mario 2, yes, we got the, the game inside this SD card. Okay, and another one, this is the official beta version, Dolphin emulator. This version can read the SD card on Android. 11 without problem. The only problem with this one, the on-screen gamepad layout. It don't have the extra function. So we add in the game. We Okay, MMJ, 
setting all right emulated cpu clock speed this is important for the mid-range cpu for the high-end cpu not a problem with this one we let it at 100 later on we adjust it accordingly in the game graphic show fps and aspect ratio stretch enhancement at the moment we try to run it at 1x disable fog only for resident evil and we system language english okay let's begin super mario galaxy 2 at standard setting this one how to enable it full screen go to your setting display notch hide notch that's it To move the cursor, you need the IR, the infrared pointer. This one only for character movement. Whether you want to use the gyro or the on-screen button. Pull down, see the three dots here, drop down menu, joystick emulation. Joystick, you want it IR with swing. After this, we change it to wrist swing, we shake, at the moment we want to use IR because we want to move the pointer. Or, this IR, you set it to wrist swing for the uh, wrist swing. And then the pointer, you use your emulation, use the gyro. Why it start? See the gyro? <laughs> you have to adjust the, the pitch setting here. This pitch the sensitivity of it okay let's try to use that Start this thing are uh, pretty useless. Let's disable it. The sensor emulation none because we only need the uh, we shake. So let me edit the layout. FPS, right? 
to swing the object you need the joystick emulation set to way swing this one You hear the sound a bit choppy. Never mind about that. After this, we adjust the CPU clock speed. At the moment, the setting here CPU clock display scale, CPU clock speed still 100%. You can reduce until you hear the sound less choppy, less distortion, then that's the perfect point Sixty that sixty APS not a problem. Now I set it to swing. See? Either swing or shake, not a problem. The joystick emulation, we shake. Same thing also. Now hear the sound, after this I adjust it. APS. Wow, my bad. Coco X3. Did you hear the sound? Very choppy now. Maybe on the next cutscene, we will see.
one is another one, the Super Mario part one. Never mind. Never go mind. Try the global version. The problem with this one was was the the controller. Okay, we do the setting first. Config. Make it this way. General. Region. Not the problem there. Enable set state. Interface, this one not so much. Audio, no. Audio. For if you got a choppy audio, 
you can stretch the audio but the best is reduce the CPU clock speed you can use this one also but there is an echo on the sound the reverb okay. not this one and one yeah yeah alright CPU clock speed this one in game we can adjust it Graphic OpenGL show SPS this one is trash enhancement one X resolution disable fog only for resident evil fog Super Mario this one. Let's see the official. This is the latest one. This one, the menu from left side. This side. Okay. Call the control setting. Ah, it doesn't work. Pointer. Oh, you can use the D-pad. This D-pad. Screen. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's good. this way adjust the CPU clock speed 30% on the MMJ version MMJ 30%. Let's try that 30%. Oh. 30. Okay. Hello. 
got the self state number two. Can I just in game? No adjustment in game. <laughs> Side uh, audio stretching. Audio are okay, but you hear the reverb sound, echo. It's slow. Checking the we and the not. Motion. Touch. Touch we already use as the pointer. Motion. Motion for pointer. No way. Development version. How about the Super Mario, the first part? At the moment, the CPU clock speed at thirty percent. Oh, on that game, on this game, still hundred. Oh, that's mean individual the setting. That's good. It's not a global setting. This game, it's setting. What? This one use number two.
Just tip it. Choppy distortion. Speed, okay. Too tiny. IPS sixty IPS. Audio stretching. General, I think. This one audio stretching. This is MMJ version. Let's copy the sound. Speed 
Okay. But the reverb effect is still there. That is all. On some game, the development version, the speed are better, but most of the time, it was only tested on the what is it? Uh, Call of Duty. The speed also good. The only problem, button. Well, that's it from my Poco X3. Once again, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.